let's start with a simple circuit, a battery, a light, and a switch. The current should flow from the positive end of the battery to the negative side. But if we turn it on, we can see that the electron goes the other way, from the negative side to the positive side. It's normal because negative charges are attracted by the positive end of the battery. So let's remove the switch to simplify our circuit. And make an analog system with an aquatic example. The battery is like a pump that pushes the water up, and the light bulb is like a waterfall where the water drops. And the electron would be fishes that swim in our circuit. When the pump is activated, the fish go up the pump and down the waterfall. So it's now possible to measure how high the fish goes up and from what height they go down. And we can put a fisherman to see how many fishes swim in the water. Now that you've got the analogy, let's go back to our circuit. The first height was the voltage of the battery, 6 volt in this example. And the second height was the voltage on our light bulb, which is the same. If you want to see how many electron goes in the water to measure the current, you need to cut the circuit switch to amps and insert your amp meters in the circuit and it measures two amps in our example for the resistance take everything out put it in ohms and then you can measure the resistance so we had a voltage of six volts a current of two amps a resistance of three ohms and with the help of ohm's law we can calculate that U equals Ri, so 6 volts equals 3 ohms times 2 amps, and it works.